10 Best Tourist Spots in Mas Bate 1. Bantat Sandbar and Reef Marine Sanctuary 2. Palani White Beach 3. Anamasala Island 4. Tinalisayan Island 5. Sombrero Island 6. Porta Vega Beach 7. Power Mangrove Park 8. Katandiagan Falls 9. Manta Bowl 10. Halia Nature Park Masbata City in Masbati Island is its capital city. If you are interested in traveling to the province known as the land of fascinating natural wonders, below are the best tourist spots in Masbata you should visit. Butad Sandbar and Reef Marine Sanctuary is one of the best tourist spots in Masbata, a 250-hectare reef and marine sanctuary off the coasts of the capital city. The main attractions of the sanctuary is its iconic sandbar and planted mangroves. This site is a famous picnic ground in the province where kiosks can be found for some shades. The thick and long stretch of sandbar is surrounded with clear and calm waters teeming with corals and marine life such as giant clams good for swimming and snorkeling. It can be reached through a 20-minute boat ride from the wharf at the Rendezvous Hotel. Palani White Beach is considered as the most famous white beach in the province of Masbate. It is a 10-kilometer long stretch of white sand beach dotted with coconut trees and Funipa huts in a secluded cove on the southwestern coasts of the town of Ballad. The vast expanse and long stretch of white sand beach is very ideal for beach sports such as beach volleyball and frisbee. It's gradually sloping seafront and calm waters, where visitors can scale down the comfortable depth, is perfect for swimming. There is a resort in the area with nature-friendly facility designs where visitors can stay. Palani White Beach is situated in Ballad, Masbati Island, Masbate. Anamasola Island is one of the most popular tourist spots in Masbate, a stunning island of beautiful rock formations. The island is largely composed of fascinating layers of sedimentary rocks forming parallel lines that most visitors described as an old torn book dropped from the sky. As imaginative as visitors can be. There are several notable spots in the island like the small lagoon with a rock at its center, mermaid's lair, and a remarkable naturally sculptured detached rock formation on the eastern side of the island. It is possible to climb atop the rock formation, but ask for the guide's assistance. Anamasola Island is located in San Pasqual, Boreas Island, Masbate. Tinalasan Island is another beautiful natural attraction in Masbate, situated off the east coasts of Boreas Island. The main attraction of the island is its beautiful long stretch of sandbar and crystal clear turquoise waters ideal for swimming and snorkeling. Moreover, the island is surrounded with stretches of white sand beach mixed with corals, rock formations, groups of slate rocks for those who are fond of rock balancing art and several trees at its center. For a splendid view, visitors can trek atop the noticeable rocky hill overlooking the sandbar and sea horizon. Tinala San Island is situated in San Pasqual, Boreas Island, Masbate. Sombrero Island is one of the most visited tourist spots in Masbate, a part of island hopping tour in Boreas Island along with Anamasola Island and Tinalasan Island. The island is actually composed of two small islands separated with a short stretch of seawater wherein one island has a vast expanse and long stretch of white sand, a sandbar, and a resort with native cottages. Meanwhile, the other one is an iconic island that looks like a hat with small stretches of white beach, several rock formations and waters teeming with marine life. Among the three islands, this is the only island visitors can stay. Sombrero Island is located in San Pasqual, 
Boreas Island, Masbate. Portabega Beach is another famous beach in the mainland of Masbate Island. The beach is a favorite weekend getaway destination among the locals and foreign tourists in the province for its vast expanse and very long stretch of white sand beach with crystalline waters. Two of the many reasons why it distinguished itself among others. One is that it has interesting arrays of dwarf coconut trees on the vast expanse sand of the shoreline and the other is the small dome-shaped church on the beach with paintings, images and Latin words around. It can be reached via 30-minute boat ride from the pier. Porta Vega Beach is situated in Dimasalang, Masbate Island, Masbate. Paula Mangrove Park is one of the known tourist spots in Masbate, featuring a 300 hectare of mangrove plantation and a 1.3 kilometer long wooden bridge with sidewalk wooden kiosks spanning a body of seawater. This is an ideal destination for nature lovers as well as birdwatchers especially during low tide when wild birds are feeding on mudflats. Paula Mangrove Park is located in Masbata City, Masbate. Katandagan Falls is a phenomenal waterfalls in Masbate which is one of the island hopping destinations in Titsau Island. The waterfall is perched on the western side of Tikal Island, which is a very rare sight to behold, wherein the water from the top of a steep cliff cascades directly into the sea about 60 feet high. It is possible to go near the falls and swim in its refreshing waters with the local tour guide's permission. During summer, expect small volume of cascading waters, but during rainy seasons, it's at its full glory. The waterfalls can be reached via a one-hour boat ride from Masbata City. Katandagan Falls is situated in Monreal, Titsau Island, Masbate. Manta Bowl is one of the very best tourist spots in Masbate, a dive site off the coasts of Titsau Island. There are several recognized dive sites in Titsau Island, but the world-renowned one is the Manta Bowl, which lies in rich plankton waters of Titsau Pass the feeding station of manta rays and dubbed as the manta ray capital of the Philippines. Moreover, whale sharks occasionally pass through this site due to its proximity to Donson, Sorsogon. If you want to experience scuba diving in Tizo Island, arrange your visit in Tizo Island Resort, the premier and accredited dive center of Masbate, Manta Bowl, is located in Tizo Island, Masbate. Aside from Katandagan Falls and Mantabol, Halia Nature Park is among the best tourist spots in the province of Masbata situated in Titsau Island. It is an astonishing secluded destination featuring a small stretch of white sand beach, crystal clear waters teeming with fishes and corals, rock formations and greenery. Swimming and snorkeling in the beach are ideal things to do, but a short trek on the rock formations is an interesting stone cliff where visitors do cliff diving. It is crystal clear and deep waters, but safety practices are highly advised since the stone cliffs have some sharp edges. Halia Nature Park is situated in Monreal, Titsau Island, Masbate.